global warnings about the imminent threat of climate change to the planet's future are becoming more audible. In a race against time, global interest in finding solutions to reduce humanity's carbon footprint, particularly in the energy sector, has increased. This is not surprising given that the sector, which envelops electricity, heating, and cooling, as well as transportation accounts for 73% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The difficulty for many African countries is not how to lower their carbon footprint, because, quite frankly, the continent's overall contribution to greenhouse gas emissions is quite low, at less than 4%. Alternatively, it is the level of innovation required to sustainably harness its existing resources to fulfill the rising demand for energy for economic development and to bring populations out of poverty while pursuing a net-zero future. Nonetheless, the green hydrogen sector in Africa, while still in its infancy, has been highlighted as a viable alternative that might aid the continent's drive to wean itself off fossil fuels, reduce carbon emissions, and alleviate long-standing energy deficiencies, particularly with recent agreements which could help to propel the African green hydrogen sector forward. Join us in our video today as we explore six of Africa's upcoming green hydrogen projects. Be sure to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to our channel. With world-class solar and wind resources and access to platinum group metals used in electrolyzers, South Africa offers strong potential for the cost-effective production and global export of hydrogen. In October 2021, the South African government took a step toward unlocking this potential by conducting a feasibility study for the establishment of a hydrogen valley, in partnership with Anglo-American Platinum, Bambili Energy and Energy SA. The study identifies three hubs and nine potential hydrogen projects across transport, industrial and construction sectors that have the capacity to deploy hydrogen-fueled solutions and stimulate new areas of economic activity. Starting your Makapane in Limpopo, the country's mining hub for the sourcing of coal platinum group metals, South Africa's proposed hydrogen valley will continue through the industrial and commercial corridor to Johannesburg and then Durban. Last July, Morocco's Ministry of Energy, Mines and Environment launched the Hevo Ammonia Morocco project in Rabat representing the largest announced green hydrogen and green ammonia project in the country to date. With an estimated investment value of over $850 million, the project's construction will be undertaken in phases, with the first phase commencing in 2022. Upon full completion, the facility will produce 183,000 tons of green ammonia and eliminate 280,000 tons of carbon dioxide annually. Project developers include Fusion Fuel Green and Consolidated Contractors Group, while trading firm Vidal has signed a memorandum of understanding to manage the offtake of green ammonia from the site. The North African country is pursuing domestic production of hydrogen in a bid to reduce the importation of grey ammonia for phosphate production, as well as enable regional export to Europe and other neighboring markets. The General Authority for Suez Canal Economic Zone has inked an agreement with H2 Industries, Inc. to establish a new waste-to-hydrogen complex at a new greenfield site in East Port said at an estimated cost of $4 billion H2 Industries will produce clean hydrogen to power Egypt's internal energy transformation, allowing the country to become a clean hydrogen exporter and a global leader in a new hydrogen economy. This project aims to produce 300,000 tons of green hydrogen per year, which means the power plant will be able to dispose of 4 million tons of municipal solid garbage each year, which will be transported by a fleet of hydrogen-powered waste vehicles. The Namibian government declared German partnership hyphen hydrogen energy as the preferred bidder for the Tsauka Eb National Park's green hydrogen project. The large-scale green hydrogen project is the most prominent initiative in the government's Southern Corridor Development Initiative in Karas, the country's southernmost region. The region is particularly appropriate, according to James Minupi, President's Economic Advisor and Hydrogen Commissioner, due to its huge solar and wind resources, as well as its proximity to the coast. 
According to Hyphen, the park is one of the top five in the world for producing low-cost hydrogen. The agreement gives the organization the right to operate the project for 40 years, with operations slated to begin in 2026 and a capacity of 300,000 tons of green hydrogen produced annually. The government hopes to establish itself as a significant player in the generation of green hydrogen with a $9.4 billion project. Egypt said in April this year that it would work with the United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company, Master to produce green hydrogen. According to the Egyptian cabinet, Master and Hassan Alam Utilities, a subsidiary of Hassan Alam Holding, will partner up in a strategic alliance to establish green hydrogen production plants in the Suez Canal Economic Zone and on the Mediterranean coast with the capacity to produce up to 480,000 tons of green hydrogen annually. According to the chief executive of Hassan Alam, the first phase of this green project will see Hassan Alam Utilities and Master create a green hydrogen manufacturing facility that will be operational by 2026, producing 100,000 tons of e-methanol yearly for Suez Canal bunkering. Additionally, Amr Alam believes that the electrolyzer facilities in the Suez Canal Economic Zone and on the Mediterranean could be expanded to 4 gigawatts by 2030 to create 2.3 million tons of green ammonia for export and supply green hydrogen to local industry. Chariot, an African-focused transitional energy company, has signed an agreement with Mauritania's Ministry of Petroleum, Mines and Energy to develop a large-scale green hydrogen project in the country. With a $3.5 billion investment, the collaboration will focus on Project NER, a potential 10 gigawatts green hydrogen development. The project would span a 14,400 square kilometer onshore and offshore region, generating power from solar and wind resources for electrolysis to produce green hydrogen. The multi-billion dollar mega development was approved by the government in September of last year, and progress was made last month with the positive results of pre-feasibility studies. Earlier this year, Chariot secured an agreement with the Dutch port of Rotterdam to create a new top global green ammonia import terminal, which will begin operations in 2026 and receives 600,000 tons of green hydrogen per year from Project NER. With this new deal, the project has the potential to become Africa's largest green hydrogen export operation, providing a reliable supply to European markets in 2030. The Chariot project is currently looking for a group of investors to help it make a final decision. So there you have it, a video that explored six of Africa's upcoming green hydrogen projects. Be sure to let us know which of the projects you would like to know about the most. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into why Africa is still poor despite being resource rich. As always, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trending and development topics in Africa.